Friends, what's going on? This is Ivan Lucero. I want to welcome you to my website. I know if you found this website, you are researching a product that will help you and your family with allergies, breathing problems, and any house dust in your home. And you are probably pretty interested as to whether or not this is a trustworthy and growing product, or whether or not you can be successful at becoming a distributor. Maybe you're interested in the facts. What are the figures? What kind of product is this? Or how can I make money doing this business? The first thing I want to say is, I have researched this product up, down, sideways, across, diagonal. Anything there is to know about this product, I'm telling you right now. I know it. I've studied it. i put so much time and so much energy into this product. I know how great it works. What I really want to show you is how you can save time and money that I have put in and really give you the facts and the benefits that are very important to successfully becoming a distributor and an owner. Also for you to learn what this product can do for yourself, your family, friends, and associates, and if it will benefit your life or not. Well, you may think you are, but in fact, you're surrounded by an invisible universe of millions of germs that turn nearly every room in your house into a virtual Petri dish. I, I'm a neat freak. We tend to be a little cleaner, I think, than average. Oh, but there's more to Mike and Cindy's dwelling than meets the eye. If you could examine it under a microscope, you would find the place is literally crawling with all sorts of germs, some potentially harmful. At least that's the way this man sees their house, and he knows all about germs. Dr. Philip Tierno is head of the microbiology department at New York University Hospital. His book, The Secret Life of germs. There have been at least 11 outbreaks of the Norwalk virus. Tierno says germs can be terrifying. After all, they're behind major outbreaks that can sicken and kill thousands every year. So it's natural that most people, like the Moors, worry that they'll get sick catching something in the outside world and believe their home is a safe haven. But they are wrong, says Tierno. 50 to 80 percent of foodborne illnesses are contracted by items that are handled in the home. 60% to 65% of all colds are contracted in the home. In the home? In the home. We wanted to put Tierno's theories about germs in the house to the test, and so did the Moors. So we set up a sort of primetime germ challenge. We installed cameras to judge the Moors' daily relationship with germs, to test cleaning and hygiene. Good morning, doctor. Then came Dr. Tierno, collecting samples and more samples from the kitchen, carpets, bedding, and bathroom. Eureka! Well, the doctor, I mean, he'd go around and take samples, and he'd say, this is good, this is good. What he really meant it was bad, bad. So how did the Moors stack up? Let's start in the bedroom. Cindy is a regular vacuumer. Looks like she's doing a pretty good job, right? Wrong, says Dr. Tierno. When I see this house, I say, this house is every bit as clean as my house, if not more clean. That rug, that carpet is vacuum. What is the reality through your eyes? Tierno says the proof was in the Petri dish. What I found is in the carpeting, very large quantities of fungal spores and extraordinary large numbers of debris and cellular matter, skin cells and uh, hairs, all of which can contribute to allergies and asthma. And considering the state of the bedroom carpet, the doctor was pretty sure he'd find a veritable party between the sheets, a dust mite party. In five to 10 years, 10% 10 of the weight of the pillow can be dust mite debris. And what grade would you give the Moore family in terms of the condition of their house? I would give them a C. I've seen a lot of Fs, but I'd give them a C. That's all they get is a C? That house looks And that's clean. generous. Is it being generous or are you expecting too much? No, I'm not expecting too much. The only thing I'm expecting is the hope that people cut down on unnecessary illness. He gave you a C. You surprised to hear that? Yeah. 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 Number three. Bedtime will just never be the same once you've met our next extreme bloodsucker. Crawling in to number three in the countdown is the bed bug. It can wait patiently in cracks and crevices for as long as 18 months until it's lured out by the irresistible smell of carbon dioxide on your breath. 
Their activity is usually timed to the sleeping cycle of humans. So they scurry about the bedsheets unnoticed in the dark hours of the early morning. An unfed bed bug is wafer thin, but once it's thrust its sharp proboscis into the skin, it takes little more than five minutes for the blood sucker to become enormously engorged. So when you go to bed tonight, sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. Friends, what's going on? Emmanuel here. I want to welcome you to my new website. It's called Three Items We Need to Survive. Food, clean water, and clean air. I'm going to talk briefly about two of those items, water and clean air. First, clean water. The Rainbow Universal Cleaning System uses just that, water. All the dust, mites, bed bugs, germs, bacteria are all captured in a swirling bath of water and disposed of permanently. It's the power of water. Clean water comes out from the rainbow and it has to pass through this rain, um, rainbow HEPA neutralizer. It never needs to be changed like other bags and filters. Um, due to the bath of water that captures all the components that are unhealthy, it's really important to get all that stuff out of your home. Eight, we offer a no obligation, nothing to buy, just take a look at their universal rainbow cleaning system. I really hope you enjoy these presentations and these videos you're about to see, and I also hope to hear from you soon.